Guilty balls. Yeah. Woo. You know what? I don't know if we're getting any better, but I'm still having fun making our own theme song. That's all that matters. That's that's what matters. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Kilted Balls podcast. Thanksgiving edition. Yes. This is always a fun one. Oh, my gosh. Yes. And so I had a thought today, and I don't know if this thought is good or if it'll work. But I thought, you know what? Maybe what we should do to start is talk about things we're thankful for and go back and forth. That sounds awesome. I don't know if that's good or not, right? That sounds great. So, I mean, I'll go. I'll go. You can go first. Your idea. Since it was my idea, I'll go first. Um. And I think I have so many things. Like I, I honestly was thinking for this episode, I should like make a list of everything I'm thankful for mm-hmm. because I'm going to forget, which I think is okay, but like, really okay. so I don't repeat myself and check things off. The <laughs> list. I'm, like, I'm like, I don't want to keep repeating. Um, the first one that pops into mind right now is um, like family. Mm-hmm. So like, I recognize now that we're like older, like how special my family is, not just my, like my girls and boy, but like, you know, all my brothers and sisters, and mm-hmm. all the cousins, right? Like, yeah, I can't remember when I was home last, right? Like it's, it's probably been a little bit since I've seen everybody, mm-hmm. maybe like July, just as a guest. Cause you know, we get busy around here and they all get busy. Yeah. But, you know, I show up today and, you know, no one's home. <laughs> so I just, like, walk in. <laughs> I'm like, no one's home. And then I can see my brother across the way chainsawing. So me and Cal walk over and we talk to him, watch him chainsaw for a bit. Walk back over. When we get over, we're, like, hanging out. And all of a sudden, his cousins all come over. So, like, my nieces mm-hmm. and nephews. I'm like, oh, hey, how's it going? Good. We just decided to come on over. I'm like, sweet. You know, then, like, a little bit goes by and my brother and sister who live in Minnesota come walking in with their kids mm-hmm. and my mom. And so it's like, Oh, Hey, how's it going? Good. I'm like, that's awesome. Then my sister and her husband come walking in, you know, and so we mm-hmm. come talking. then, you know, like a little while later, another brother and sister come walking in. Another sister comes walking in more nieces and nephews come pouring in mm-hmm. I'm like, I, like it's a wednesday like it's not thanksgiving yeah right and then another brother comes walking in and i'm like what are you like it's kind of late like now it's like nine not nine o'clock but it's like seven eight o'clock I'm like mm-hmm. yeah well we had to get off work first and you know we're in grand rapids and so yeah yeah like oh, okay so that's cool so like you know just like the house was like filling up slowly but surely Mm -hmm. and i was just like how cool is this that people just start showing up and it's not thanksgiving right like it's not like oh let's come over for thanksgiving like they're all there tonight and i don't know where everybody's staying or what everybody's doing because they're all Mm -hmm. like are you coming back tomorrow i'm like no (laughs) (laughs) i got shit to do (laughs) they're all like there and they're all planning on being there tomorrow and some oh that's awesome friday But I'm like, you know what? This is cool that even at this stage in our lives, Mm -hmm. everybody is still going through. And I'm like, you know what? I don't see that a lot from like anybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, part of it is that we're so dang big, right? Yeah. But even so, like, I think about like, we see Amy's family a lot because they live up by us. But like, when we get together for Thanksgiving, it's we go over there just for Thanksgiving and we eat and maybe hang out and mm-hmm. then go. But like yeah. we're like going from room to room, talking, catching up, laughing our heads off. Like Amy is just like cracking up, laughing. That's yeah, awesome. I mean, you, you've been in the experience before, right? Well, yeah, that's I mean, and like especially coming this coming season, you know, coming Christmas season and stuff, we have some big plans now. Yeah. But it's just like, like I'm talking with Gina, like I'd still like to make it down there or make it up there, I should say. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, just to be able to see all of you guys, which is an amazing time and seeing all your family, which is awesome. I'd be able to see 
you know, some of my family as well. Yeah, so, yeah. And it's yeah. just a good time, right? Yes. So, yeah. So I was thinking, you know, I'm thankful for this. I don't think everybody gets this experience. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I want to recognize that. So that's first one. That's the first That one. is an awesome one. Well, that was a, a little mushy and I'm going to go a little mushy as well. I am, uh, I'm thankful for you and I'm thankful for our, our friendship and, and what we can do here, you know, where we're meeting up at once a week. Obviously we hang out more than that, which is, which is super awesome. I mean, you think when your kids like, Oh, you're going to be friends forever. And I think that as friendships are concerned, we have some awesome friendships from early stages of our lives that's still around, but I'm super thankful to have you as, as someone in my inner, inner circle and, you know, your right. fan, obviously your family as well, which you were just talking about, but yeah, yeah. right. Like I'm super thankful about I think that. You're in the family category. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, because family is more than blood. <laughs> it, yes. Yes. That's something we've talked about this before. And my kiddos mm -hmm. and I have talked about this, like family doesn't have to be blood related, right? Like mm -hmm. people think that like, oh, that's my mom or dad, or that's my sister and brother. And mm -hmm. like, we don't exist that way. Now the buyers is our, our blood, obviously, mm -hmm. right? They're a thing, but it's different, right? And, mm -hmm. you know, we have family who are not blood related and they're, they're just as powerful. Mm -hmm. right? And my girls recognize that they're like, you know what, they're, they're, Cause they've said that before, like saying, like introducing Jamie and stuff. Yeah. You're like, talking you know about what? that. It's not really. Um, they're like, he's not like, how do we introduce him? They're like, he's not like, like a friend doesn't do it justice. Family mm -hmm. friend doesn't do it justice. Mm -hmm. They're like, so what do we call him? And I'm like, what do you, what's the feels you have? Mm -hmm. What does it feel like to you? And they're like, like an uncle and i'm like then that's how you would refer to him I'm like mm -hmm. I just refer to him as your uncle Jamie. i go nobody actually cares I'm yeah just, <laughs> <I> nobody, <laughs> like, my uncle. no everybody's not listening anymore right yeah that's why someone's i think it's really funny offended. when someone's like that is my uncle's sister's boyfriend from third oh wait was it fourth grade or third mm -hmm. i'm like listen everybody stopped listening at uncle Mm -hmm. nobody cares yeah so. yeah yeah they're not taking notes yeah right i'm like that's that's good enough so that's awesome and i i'm gonna um just bounce with that that's not gonna be my one but mm -hmm. always incredibly thankful for you i again i think you as we get older we realize how special stuff like that is right mm -hmm. and you know we can see our friends and you know, there there's our friends like um, let's pick one, like Laura Latouri, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm sure she is friends with everybody from high school, like she is with us, right? Mm -hmm. Like if I showed yeah. up at her house, we'd sit down and have coffee or tea or whatever. Or if I mm -hmm. showed up at one of her house parties, she'd be super excited to see us, right? Mm -hmm. But and I think that's the same for all of her friends from high school and everything mm -hmm. else, right this is yeah. a different level a different amount of specialness yeah you know and i think that's great and i think it's funny because you know it's one of those things and i i kind of i hit this with you when we were talking like adoption once that like my family views adoption mm -hmm. i hope the same as other people do but maybe not but like the cool thing about friendships like this is it's literally a conscious choice mm -hmm. right your family's mm -hmm. not a conscious choice, right? I yeah. was born with them. We have forced experiences and forced traumas <laughs> for our whole <laughs> lives together. Yeah. Right. And and it helps that we're all like stupid genetically similar, right? Like I was mm -hmm. laughing today and I was like, oh my gosh, I sound just like my brother laughing in the other room, right? Like yeah. we're we're copies of each other. Mm -hmm. And so that brings something. But like this. Like this was, this is a conscious choice that we make every yeah. day. And I'm like, that's powerful. That's really powerful. I think. And I feel mm -hmm. sad that other people don't have that, but it, yeah, it is who people are and who they're with. So yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I'm super thankful for that. Um, My next one, I went to a practice today at a different place and the the coach was he always says spiels at the end of his thing which i really like 
And today it was like, get out there, tell three people you're thankful for them. Be like, don't do it off the cuff, plan it, think about it, call them. He goes, mm -hmm. those things in your pocket, they'll call people too. It's like a miracle. Like, yeah. Don't do <laughs> he's like, dial them up, call them, go visit them, tell them how you feel. And he's like, like coach Byers over there. He goes, you know, he's been a mentor and a friend for, you know, whatever, 20 years and blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, Oh, and I, and I'm thankful for those people that have mm -hmm. been around. Like they're just part of your life for that long. Mm -hmm. And they're not like, and I love this about humans in general. And, and I don't know what it is. And I know it's for sure a wrestling coach thing or a coaching thing, but yeah. again, we don't have to be around each other all of the time to stay connected. Yeah. Right. Like I walked in and I'm like, oh my gosh, your kids are getting so big. I was looking at Facebook and he's like, oh my gosh, my kids, your kids, it was in college. It's crazy. Right. And we're mm -hmm. like connected. And I'm like, that yeah. is so awesome. And that we haven't seen each other but for nine months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Since wrestling got over. Right. But it's still, mm -hmm. we're still that way. And so I think that's, that's cool. super cool and super amazing. And What's not super cool or amazing is I can't hear you anymore. So what? You can't hear me at all? No, no, you're completely Oh my sad. gosh. Very sad. Very sad. I think where I'm sitting today might be interesting. Like, do I look is that better? Is that better? No? Oh, Weird. Tilted's audio. That's so sad. Uh, oh, wait. Wait, why does it say mute on Bad mic system. Bad mic. So we are not thankful for technology today. He's going to figure this out. I'm going to go on to my next thankful one. Going with that, I I have friends as well um, who I stay connected to like there? all of the time. How about now? <laughs> or now? Or now? Listen, when, when I can hear you, <laughs> it'll be like a big, huge celebration. So I don't That's have a ton of them, but like you know, friends that I've like reconnected with in the past and, you know, that we just keep in touch and like are kind of like, it's, it's just like a weird Aha. involvement with people's lives. And I think <laughs> it's amazing. Right. And it shows again that you can have these friendships, and these really powerful <laughs> connections with people <laughs> and like, especially our online friends, right? Like, you don't have to be with them all the time. You don't have to see them in person all the time. Just, like, getting together over text messages, right? Or maybe a phone call once a month is just, like, super, super amazing and awesome. And, you know, I'm thankful for those friends. For those friends that we stay connected and we make the effort, even when it's hard or it's tough. And we kind yeah. of go the extra mile each other that's super awesome super awesome i saw you shake your head see pictures of them. um yeah oh so you didn't like shake your head, head. you didn't shake your head no. if only you knew sign language and it would transfer to spotify so people could hear you on spotify <clears throat> like that'd be fun <laughs> that's weird it's so weird still having technical difficulties so I'm going to, I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to keep going, keep it on. Um, other things that I'm super thankful for. I'm mm -hmm. thankful for my gig, like my actual work. I have like such a great time doing it. Um, and it's nice. Like, I think as I've aged, like this has been my favorite year so far and things have been running smoothly. There we go. And there we go. They've uh, been going really, really good. Mac, microphone. Just the right amount of break time mixed with my work. <clears throat> so I can be focused. There we go. And also like chill for a minute. There we go. I think is important. Well. When you're working at a high level, high energy, right? I really worry about people who are at working like high level, high energy. Test, test. Ooh, test, test. And they don't test, get test. breaks. And then I think they burn out and then they have to go <clears> on vacation or they have to go and get treatment from that and i like that my work affords me the time it's so strange pretty often what happened bankers i think that's good hmm so do you think it's me Tilt? i don't know oh, i it's... can hear you 
Maybe oh. it was me the whole time. Could it have been oh. me? <laughs> I have no idea. If we listen I'm to like... the playback and we can hear you the whole time. <laughs> That's gonna be that gonna be fantastic. Like you're like, hey, I'm thankful for it. I'm like, no, you don't get to go. I get to go again. Nope, nope, still not you. Oh, going Me again. again. Me again. What? Nope, nope. Uh, I can't hear you. I was like, that's so weird. Oh, so you turned me off. It oh, really yeah. could have been. Me. It really could have been me. I'm thankful my microphone works. <laughs> <laughs> I did. All I did was like reached up and I'm like, yeah, I, I can't hear you at all. And I hit the cord and all of a sudden I'm like, wait, I can hear you. Mm. I hope so. I'm going to have to listen tonight. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, to uh, to go on that. Yes. Um, I mean, it, it's 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 weird. I mean, we've talked about this in the past and any of our old listeners, you've heard me say this and new listeners welcome is is and it's the same for you i believe we live in a constant state of things yes it's great that we have this special episode because it is thanksgiving where we're giving extra thanks out there yeah. but to live in the constant state that is that is living in thankfulness which i think that's why you know so many good things have happened to us but I, I, even going with the same thing as you like my gig i do love my gig I was one, I, you know, I'm kind of in a, in a stage where I'm wondering what the next step is going to be, say, mm -hmm. you know, five, 10 years from now. And it'll be interesting to see. We'll see what happens with that. And, you know, I'll just, I'll go wherever the universe leads me. So um, I am super thankful. You started with this, but uh, when we first started recording this, some of the early episodes, I thought that my family would be like it is now, but it was definitely a state of unknowing and we talk a lot of you know some major changes were just happening for myself and it's it's been amazing it's been so awesome I love being a father and and this new family that I'm a part of and the extended family there you know we're going there tomorrow it's going to be it's going to be a great time it's wonderful and it's it's awesome to be part of that and um well, like we always thought <clears throat> always we talked about it so many times that we just thought you would be a great dad. Now, I don't know if you're being a great dad, so don't take that as me saying you're a great dad. Proof is in the pudding. I'm so learning every day. In 20 years, we'll know if you were a great dad, right? We'll find out. We'll find out. But we always um, thought you would be a great dad. And so far, it looks like it looks like mm -hmm. you're, you're doing the thing. So Yes. Well, it's, it's great that one of my sons looks like me, which is fun. And, and I've talked about that. And the other one, the little one, he got my he got my feels going this last weekend because we we're up early. He got up. He wanted a waffle. And he said, Jerem Poe, which is what he calls me. He said, Jerem Poe, I want peanut butter and syrup like you have on your waffles. And he loved it. So that was super awesome. That made me right. There's, it just is just the nature and nurture. Yes. You know, I'm a big fan of the nurture, obviously, because I, you know, being being raised by Paul, I feel I have a lot of his traits. Yes. And that was just from him being around from from such a young age. So, nurture yes, is huge. nurture. Is huge. Yeah, <clears throat> I was reading something recently about that. I can't remember what it was, but I remember like going, yeah, that's the thing. Right. Mm -hmm. That is that's the thing. Mm -hmm. so that's good. Should you go again? Because I took up so many. I don't think so. I, I thought you just did two more, and I just did two. Okay. Okay. Actually, I did. I did. I kind of jumped a lot. Put a lot of them in there together. It was a jumbled. <clears throat> jumbled. It was a jumble. Well, let's talk about this too. I, I'll go. I'll go again. All right. We, we're uh, talk about old friends. And new friends. So I'm 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 thankful for for all my friends. Obviously, like yes. to to the, some of the communities that I'm part of is is just amazing. Like I'm surrounded by awesome people, and it is it is great. And and even with technology nowadays, like our this is where this is where Wednesday before Thursday and our normal Wednesday group, we have an amazing group of friends which I met through you. Yeah. And 
I mean, they're all turning into brothers. I mean, it's, really. It, it's insane. So, yeah, we meet with this group pretty much every Wednesday. I haven't met with them mm -hmm. today because I've, I've been traveling and stuff. Mm -hmm. But pretty much every Wednesday we meet with this group. And we got together. Oh, sorry. You, you didn't get together with us. But yeah. The, but the rest of us all <laughs> got together for a birthday gig. And, um, like, all the wives were there. And, like, they're like, this is so weird. And we're like, what? They're like, you guys are seriously, like, just amazing friends. Like, you can tell how much you care and how much you love. And we're all, like, men who have no issues sharing our feelings or any of that. Mm -hmm. so there's, like, a lot of love in the room and going mm -hmm. around. And it's just good, warm feels. And we're like, yeah. And they're like, but that is crazy because some of you have never been in the same room with each other. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, like yeah. have you ever like seen Wade before? And we're like, no, this is the first time we've actually like <laughs> been in person. They're like, but you're talking like you're old fast <laughs> friends. And we're like, because we spend at least one day a week with each other mm -hmm. for three or four hours, like yeah. three years. Mm -hmm. Like you're gonna know each other, you're gonna build those connections. You don't have to be in person with them. Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, it doesn't have to be that way. So yeah, for sure. I'm so thankful for that group, mm -hmm. right? And I'm, it's actually interesting because I was actually like super scared of this. I don't remember when, but I was like, I am so worried that this group could just dissolve and go away and I would be lesser for that. Mm -hmm. And I never like being lesser. Like I always yeah. like building myself more and more and more. And mm -hmm. I'm like, if this group dissolved, which it easily could do, right? Mm -hmm. like, we're so busy. It takes commitment mm -hmm. to stay yes. in a thing like that. Mm -hmm. Like, so if somebody was just like, yeah, I'm not going to do it anymore. The whole thing would just fall apart instantly. Mm -hmm. I would, yeah. I don't think I would be as good as I am now. So I, yeah, I'm going to echo that one. That is, that's a great group of guys, great group of friends. Mm -hmm. you know? And the fact that you can like, just talk to them, right? Like if I'm having a bad day, I can like jump on and be like, guys, it was like the yeah. worst day or send mm -hmm. them a text like, guys, this is what I'm dealing with. I'm having like a rough day and they'll be like so supportive, right? Mm -hmm. So like, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, even today I was on with them for a little bit and a funny thing came up because I was talking about when, you know, when I was younger and hotter mm -hmm. and they're like, no, no, I, no, I was never like that. And, and I was like, what? Well, what about when you thought you were younger and hotter? Like maybe I wasn't like that hot when I was younger, but I always thought I was in there and they're like, no, no, no. And I was like, well, maybe it's because I was always around ball and ball thought he was the hottest for sure. And if we're hanging around, I'm like, well, we got to be hot too. So, <laughs> <laughs> they're like, like, we're so, much hotter <laughs> than you. <laughs> so it was funny. I felt a little bad for him that they didn't have that aspect in their life and, and everyone is different everyone goes through different things but we definitely had a, a time in our lives when we were you know younger and I mean I, I think we've grown up to be handsome men for sure but when we we're younger and hotter handsome men yeah. mm -hmm. with our dad bods handsome men with our dad bods. yeah I'm, I'm working on that especially because I'm gonna be on a big I, boat in a month I have like a dog in here all of a sudden uh oh do you hear that I heard some sniffs. Your dog does not know sign language yet. Don't try to fool me. I guess she's not. My daughters know sign language, though, and they know to get the dog out so it's not like barking. Oh, recording. there you go. So. I thought you were yeah. trying to call someone over. See, I do not know no, sign no, language. No, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, get her done, get her done. So, so that's a good one. Like, I am like probably bears repeating, like uber thankful for for them. Those mm -hmm. are pretty awesome and pretty fun. Yeah, so that's a big one, I think. Right, and you're with those people all the time, and so you probably don't say it enough. So, mm -hmm. kiddos, if you're listening, wife, you're listening, super thankful for you guys. Heck yeah! Uh, there's a couple of them up there. A couple have fallen off the wall. <laughs> Yeah, I did notice. I thought they were there the first week, but they might not they have been. Not, they were not. And I think okay. they're over next to me, like by a window. 
I see him. So, so it's a been a minute. Got moved over to a window spot. That must have That's been hilarious. Sorry. Yes, yes, I'm super thankful for Gina and the kids. And the cat's awesome. There was something else I was just about to share. Hmm. You you distracted me with our with our bros, my bros. Mm -hmm. Actually, going back to more bro love, our because I don't think you've ever actually met Jason in real life, have you? Jason's like a great one, right? And it was super mm -hmm. funny because we're having this discussion here about other stuff. And so Jason listens. You guys have seen us. We've interviewed Jason. We're probably going to do it again. And I told him, like, if he wants to come up for Christmas, like, he should come up for Christmas. Because, again, the buyers is, they they don't, like, they don't, um, what's the word? Like, everybody's included at a buyer's mm -hmm. Christmas. Now, that being said, we will rip you apart. Like that's, yeah. that's part of the experience mm -hmm. of a buyer's Christmas. So if you come to a buyer's Christmas, understand you're going to get picked on. So mm -hmm. you gotta, you gotta have a thick skin, right? Mm -hmm. But because they're full of so much love, you mm -hmm. never actually feel picked on. I don't think like most people are like, that wasn't that bad. Like, mm -hmm. like yeah, except they teased you for two hours straight. <laughs> yeah, but it was so sweet. I'm like, yeah. So funny. yeah, because you're feeling the love, right? Like, mm -hmm. You know, that's feeling how they're the accepting love. you. If mm -hmm. they're not teasing you, that means they, they actually don't care. <laughs> that's not true. You have some family members who care a lot, who are just happy to talk and not necessarily pick on you. Maybe. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Ask Gina. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. <laughs> She knows there's some that are just nice. Uh huh. I don't believe that. Yeah, so I'm gonna be nice. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. So that's cool. But anyway, so like we told Jason, come on up. Mm -hmm. And you know, and he was like, "Is he being serious?" Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, we're serious. Like that's a thing. And not only is it a thing. Again, Jason and I have literally never like been on a phone call, right? Never been in the same room together. Never been in the same state, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think so. No, but you know, we have a connection. Yeah. We talk. And the funny thing is, is we even have like opposing views, right? Mm -hmm. Like I'm sure we do, which is good. And that's the thing that I think people don't get. Like you don't have to agree with people to be friends with people. Mm -hmm. like that doesn't have to be a thing but it's you know it's still weird, yeah right yeah you just have to be willing to respect that mm -hmm. people have different views not yeah like judge them for different views which i think is mm -hmm. probably the hard part for most people but yeah the same thing ava's good friend in marching band at college lives in Nor her she's from north dakota mm-hmm and so she's like, yeah, I'm not doing anything for Thanksgiving. And she's like, it was like, you need to just come to Thanksgiving with us. And she's mm -hmm. like, well, I couldn't intrude like on your family. And she's like, that's not how my family works. Yeah. They would accept you. And for the day, you'd be part of the family. Like mm -hmm. they would just like rope you right in. And then recently she was like, yeah, I'm not going to do it because I think I'd feel too bad. Like I would miss my family too much by being with your family. Oh, uh, so she's not coming? I don't know. Like, we're going to call her again tomorrow and be like, hey, you should drive up here and be with us. Because Okay, good. Know, yeah. Don't be Pester. alone. Be with us and mm -hmm. have an amazing time with us. Yeah. Even if we're going to make you cry because it's going to be amazing. Yeah. She's never had that much fun with her family, for sure. Well, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, you <laughs> It might be an Armstrong one instead of, oh my gosh, instead of a Fires one. But so uh -huh. we're to the Fires is today. And then we were talking to Cal and we're like, oh, aren't you excited? You're going to see like your cousins tomorrow. And he's like, yeah, that's going to be fun. And we're like, and the shalatis and stuff. He's like, wait a second. And we're like, what? And he's like, those are all Armstrongs. And he's <laughs> like, and he goes, huh. <clears throat> I thought they were all buyers this, this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> He's learning. <laughs> Might as well be. Might as well be, Cal. Mm -hmm. like they're all part of the same thing. So That's awesome. Uh, what else do you got? Anything fun? 
I just did that last one. Mm hmm. I think I did, I did the over. I did the friends and I did Jason. And I, and I did Jason. So. Oh, you're doing another one. I did Jason. I said how thankful I was. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's, that's true. Right. That's right. I'm thankful for all you listeners. Mm -hmm. All you listeners. Yes. I'm so thankful. I was gonna say that next. I'm so thankful mm -hmm. when you guys tell us you exist, right? Mm -hmm. And oh my gosh, I thought of a new game for us, Jer. Awesome. Listeners, this is for you too. I was thinking we need to like push this out on social media or something, Kilted. Mm -hmm. I really, really like this idea. So it's a new challenge. We've got a new challenge for us. Nothing related to Thanksgiving, people. So the Thanksgiving okay. episode is now over. Okay. Or our giving thanks is over. Okay. Uh, you share over. yours and I might have time to share something I was thinking about. Go ahead. Okay. You Hopefully you won't. So no. <laughs> <laughs> so I I came up with this new challenge for us, and there's there's like okay. a mathematical basis for it, but I call it the thirty six step challenge. Okay. okay. So thirty six step challenge, and here's the deal. And I've made a I've made a Discord channel for it. So listeners, join our Discord. Oh, I see it. I'll put a comment section in for us. Kilted and I are going to hammer out the rules, if you will, quote unquote rules for the 36 step challenge. And then Kilted and I are going to do the 36 step challenge. Perfect. We really, really, really want all of the rest of you to do the, the 36 step challenge with us. So as many people as we can get to do it, it'll just make the whole thing cool. And mm -hmm. as you see Kilted Nod, it's important for you all to know, he literally has no idea what I'm talking about at all. No idea. I see hashtag 36 step, step challenge. 36. Step. Yeah. 36 step. You got it. Okay. Exclamation point. So here's the deal. And I think we're going to need rules. In my mind, I had this set up and I decided this is wrong. So it's got to be a different way. Okay. Mm -hmm. So people, this gets back to our entrepreneurial spirit and focus that we've had from the beginning. So it's bringing this back in. And I'm excited about this because all of our people can do this. All of you can do this and it's gonna be a good time. You've gotta start though. Mm -hmm. Step one is you've gotta have a hundred dollars. Okay. Are you all with me people? hundred dollars. You gotta have a hundred dollars. In my mind, when I like made up the challenge, it was like a hundred dollars in a dedicated account, like a bank account. Mm -hmm. For the hundred dollars, I was going to mm -hmm. get Chime to sponsor us, and we would all use a Chime, Chime there you checking go. account. What did they say? I haven't called them yet because I came up with the idea yesterday. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have a Lily account, which is which I like. Yeah, and they're like an online bank. The only reason Chime came into my head was I used it because I bought more Arrive shares. Oh, okay. <laughs> so more Arrive shares. I was like, nice. This Chime account is slick. Oh, I'm like, I should use this for the new challenge. Okay. So anyway, I don't know if that's important. So I've outlined 36 steps. You with me? Mm -hmm. The goal of the challenge is to get all 36 steps in. What is the step? You have to take your $100 and however you want to do it. You got to turn that hundred dollars in your account or wherever it is into one hundred and thirty dollars. Mm -hmm. Simple, right? Mm -hmm. Take the hundred, turn it into one hundred and thirty. That's step one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then step two, you've got to take that hundred and thirty dollars, and you've got to make the next step, which I outline in the thirty-six step challenge nice so, what it is. so let's say it's a hundred you've got to take that 130 and let's say you have to turn that into like 170 whatever it is on the step that mm -hmm. would be step like so that was step one so that would be step two right mm -hmm. then you have to take like that 170 and however you want to do it you've got to turn mm -hmm. it into like 200 Whatever it is. Mm -hmm. You following along? And following that's step along. three. And you've got to keep doing that 
till you hit step 36. Nice. Right. Is each step the same percentage or is it random or no, it's pretty close approximately? To pretty okay. Close to the same percentage. I did a lot of, mm -hmm. I did math work and Excel work to determine what the steps would be. Okay. Okay. And my, there, there's no timeline for the steps, mm -hmm. but, but I think you should personally, and again, we would, we'll talk about the rules sometime, maybe off air, but like personally, I think, you know what, like my mind says one year, like you should never take more than a year to do a step. And so let's yeah. assume other people are not as cool. So maybe we make a rule that you have to do a step in like two years mm -hmm. right? or you fail the challenge. You got to start over. No, <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. Right. But doing, doing that and the big thing is, is that you can do whatever you want. So you, you can mm -hmm. literally do whatever you want. Maybe you're like kilted and you're like really big into crypto and you're like, you know what? I already know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and I'm going to buy a hundred shares of Doge and that's mm -hmm. going to hit step two. Yeah. Right? Or, you know, what? I'm going to buy that Doge and I'm super, super sure. And it's going to get all the way up to step 10 by next month. Yeah. What, what uh, so... So is your idea that on the on the Discord, like people are typing in what they're going to try to do with it to yes. help help yes. give other people ideas and things like that? Yes, yeah. and that will document our journey. So in my mind, I'm thinking of this like as a uh, like a flipping thing. Like, hey, I'm mm -hmm. going to start with a paper clip and see how big I can flip the paper clip. Yeah, we're starting with a hundred dollars, and how far can I flip my hundred dollars? Yeah, that's awesome. Right? And we're doing 36 steps and I want to do like prizes or recognition, like say every 10 steps or something mm -hmm. like, Oh, or, Oh my gosh, you hit 10 steps in a year. Yes. So anyway, stay tuned for details about that. Join our discord and take part in our 36 step challenge. Super thankful for all of you. I know I didn't hit everything I'm thankful for, but I love all of you people. Yes. And happy Thanksgiving. And this is Ballbuster signing off. Yes, happy Thanksgiving. Kill the Dragon Jerry. Love you all.